So, <clears throat> excuse me, in that drop D tuning, that makes your E string and your A string, your lower two strings, um, instead of being in tune there at the fifth fret, it makes it in tune there at the seventh fret, which effectively makes an open and that um, a whole step apart. So instead of having to do a standard power chord to get there, because uh, now the sound that you'd produce on a regular guitar, if you do a power chord, um, would actually be this. That's what it's changed it to. So instead of having to do that, you can do... That's a power chord now, just going across the two strings by dropping that um, E string a whole step, well, a whole step and a half, but the rest of them are a half step down, so, if, you know, a whole step. That makes your power chord, instead of having to be this to get the fifth, this is the fifth now. Um, so, anyhow, with that being said, that this is your power chord now, the opening is going to be, um, third fret. I don't know what the hell it ends up being. It's a step and a half down, so that makes it a, what, G, F, E. So that's actually a E power chord now. And then you're throwing in this note, which generally would be a G. Um, so if you can, just those three strings... the sound ringing out. Then it goes to a D chord would typically be, right, one, or pardon me, we'll do it as uh, second fret, third fret, second fret. You're just skipping that high E string. You're not playing that at all. Um, your thumb's going to come over and mute that low string. So you're just doing this portion Right? You're going to be on the 3rd string, 2nd fret, and you're going to be on the 2nd string, 3rd fret. Um, and you get this lovely little ringing deal here. So, you start here, and see, that's, that's covering those two strings. And then this is just picking up the 5th the fret there. I, for whatever reason, find it easy to grab it with my pinky. That way, most of the song, I'm using my pointy and my pinky. You can grab it any way you want to, whatever gets you where you're going. So, it's as simple as that through most of it. Um, I'm still working out exactly how they do it, because they actually don't do a great job of showing it. Um, but the next chords are going to be a power chord uh, at the 8th fret. And I can't tell whether they include this or not. I'm kind of looking to find out. Um, but that's your basic chord, and that's for the chorus, and then they go, right? So they're on the 8th, they throw in a change up to the 10th, and then down to the 7th. Like I said, I'm working on what they throw in on which chord. Um, then it ends up dropping down to a, a, what are they, something in the F area, or first fret. And 
and it, there's a four chord run there um, that I'm still working out but hopefully that gets you started anyhow um, to be here and then down to here and you can hear if you get that E in there it, right there's only a half step in between so it doesn't sound good um, That, again, I'm, you can hear me climbing around in here trying to get my guitar in position so I can play. Um, but you want to quiet everything else in this. You, you really only want... And sometimes it sounds like they, they diddle between your two thickest strings and then strum. But that's where you're at. And then it goes which we've heard that a, a hundred songs. Um, I'll get you more.